JEH Stallion Station has a remarkable sire selection standing a stud that will add speed to any program. JEH is well known for producing winners of numerous major stakes races time and again with the likes of Trace Sace, A Political Jess, and Brookstone Bay, sire of running Brooke Gow, winner of the 2009 $2 million All-American Futurity at Riadosa Downs. Endless possibilities with winning results. JEH Stallion Station. Trainer John Steinbow could be in for a nice weekend. He had Giorgino, fastest qualifier for the Ruidoso Derby, a race that Steinbow won last year. He also has two finalists in the Ruidoso Futurity, both bred by Bela Oaks, owned by the family of the late Larry Johnson. Their father passed away last year, and, and he had a string of 100 good mares. And they would go through, and uh, they had a, a pick a few to run and keep, and then the rest, 30 or whatever, 40, they'd sell. And they've uh, done quite well doing it that way. One of those they kept was a Corona Cartel colt named Tex Cartel B. He won the 15th of 20 Futurity time trials with the 8th fastest time. Some colts are all business on race day, but a pet around the barn. How about Tex? Oh, no, no, not at all. Not at all. He, 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 I don't think he likes people a whole lot. Uh, he, he just likes the care. He likes the food. Uh, he's a kept man. <laughs> Steinbow's other starter is SureShot B, who posted the third fastest time. His performance was no surprise to the trainer or his rider. Jackie Martin qualified three for the finals and chose SureShot B for his futurity mount. It's a battle between SureShot B and back in the pack. SureShot B back in the pack. SureShot B back in the pack. Then Corona Princessa. SureShot B was purchased from Bela Oaks by Steinbaugh clients Tommy Hayes and Charlie Forbes. Bela Oaks send their horses to get started down. They'll send them in September, October down to Laredo. And, and so we went down in November and watched them breeze for the first time. And SureShot uh, just looked awesome good. I mean, just completely natural. There wasn't any training that needed to be done there. You know, they waited until he came out to me, and I'd had him a couple months. And uh, we worked him out at Sunderland, and he showed up again, even bigger and better, and that prompted him then. The Steinbow Barn owns some important victories here at Ruidoso Downs and hopes for more. The trainer never fails to remember his mentor, Blaine Schwanevelt, and the true meaning of work. You know, I'm just not as tough as Blaine was. That's, a, that's the final line. Uh, Levin killed me off yesterday. I can't imagine, you know, I watched that guy. We ran 60 head uh, from Thursday to Saturday night, one time in California, he never even looked tired. When I worked for him, he kept me so busy, I took all the buttons off my shirts and put Velcro. Had no time for buttons, huh? <laughs> Join Heritage Place for their annual quarter horse yearling sale. The industry's largest sale event will begin at 10 a.m. Thursday, September 15th. The three-day offering will consist of nearly 1,000 head of the finest quarter horse yearlings consigned at auction this year. Mark your calendar and make plans now to join us in Oklahoma City, where champions are sold. Heritage Place, proud sponsor of the $1 million Heritage Place Futurity. Quarter horse racing is a very competitive business, particularly when it comes to major races like the Ruidoso Futurity. But who would people want to see win a race like that if they couldn't? Well, around here, a lot of people would give you the name Jackie Riddle. She's been working around the racetrack most of her life. Now, Jackie Riddle goes for her own Ruidoso win with fourth fastest qualifier, Silver for Me. Silver for Me, we paid, uh, we went off on a limb and paid the 15,000 supplement. He'd only ran two seconds, but we saw potential all along. So we ran him in a schooner race and gave him a shot and he win. And so we decided to pay the money and run him. And he came through for us. Silver for me made his first two starts in Houston for Leon Bard, who is the other half of the Jackie Riddle training entry. Leon Bard and I do this together. And he breaks the Colts in Texas, and he was in that fraternity down, or he was in a fraternity there, so they started him there. Then he ran second, then he did for second in the Constellation with another Colt we have. We complemented each other, and I've, I have a place in Texas where I break all the babies, and I actually race horses in Texas and Louisiana some. So I can't stay in New Mexico all the time, and so Jackie stays here, and I ship horses back and forth. My phone bill runs about 400 a month, 
but we, you know, we talk regular, and if she has any question or any doubt about anything, she calls me, and uh, we've we just been very successful and very pleased with it. Leon trained 2002 Futurity winner Zip first and has been associated with talented horses like Indigo Illusion. Jackie groomed 1977 All-American winner Hot Idea for Gene T. Fertiller, but that wasn't her biggest career influence. I learned the most from Ike Danley. I worked Fred Danley's daddy. I worked for Fred Danley, then I went to work for Ike, and he was an old timer. He did, it was hay, oats, and water. You know, we fed, fed a little butte in the feed and a little uh, KC vet pills back then for bleeding, but that was basically it. And a lot of ice, a lot of hard work, and I still use more of his tactics myself. And I learned a lot from Tifa Tiller. I take the horses out in the afternoon, take care of them that way. And I mean, I, and, uh, I work hard, and he worked hard. And, but I use more tactics from Ike Danley. And what would it mean to translate that knowledge and years of hard work into a win this weekend? It'd mean a whole lot to me. This, I've had horses as a groom in a lot of the races. I took care of Hot Idea for Gene Tiva Tiller up to the time of the All-American, so it'd be great, I think. It'd be wonderful. Silver, for me, definitely looked sharp in his trial, not making any of the mistakes at the gate that plagued his earlier races. But can he come back strong when the money's on the line? I feel like we've got him 150% for Sunday. We're, we're very blessed with him. We drew very good, and we're, we're happy and just made the best horse win, and we think it'll be ours. Travel accommodations provided by La Quinta in Ruidoso, the horseman's home away from home.